The opinion leader talk from Intergeo 2019 in Stuttgart with Eduardo Falcon from Topcon Executive Vice President and Group General Manager, Topcon Positioning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming. Um, how has the year been for Topcon Positioning Group since the last Intergeo 2018? Yes, I appreciate that every year we have this discussion. It's great. Actually, we continue growing uh, on a global basis. Uh, the business that I, I manage is, uh, is an international uh, business. It expands all over the world. So uh, different markets at different rates. But basically, we are seeing growth in all the activities uh, that we are, we are taking. So I'm very happy about, uh, about those developments and continue pushing for new technology, new solutions uh, for our customers. Let's talk about uh, Topcon's latest innovation, the GTL 1000. Ah, the GTL 1000 is a, is a great product. We, we talk a little bit, uh, not specifically about the product, but about the concept of real-time uh, quality control on the field, right? Uh, last year, in our last uh, interview, and, um, and we were hinting at that point uh, the importance of having the ability to not only lay out points, but also be able to uh, verify them and the quality of, of the work on real time. That means, for example, when we are combining uh, this GTL 1000 with software like uh, HYS Verity uh, Rhythm, right? Now we can do things on real time that could never be dream, uh, been done before, like concrete uh, paving, for example, or concrete uh, uh, sites, you know, that you need to lay down. Uh, today we can verify it on real time, we can lay it out, but also verify it on real time. I, I like to say when the cement, cement is still wet, or the concrete is still wet, which means that we can make the changes right there. And that's a tremendous uh, advantage and a tremendous uh, progress, actually, in all our developments. Uh, the GTL 1000, we have uh, been uh, developing for several years. We had it in the market also for, for a long period of time. We listened to our customer, what they had to say about, you know, the way that they would like to see the product used. And I think that we are very proud, actually, of this, uh, how, how we end up uh, this development, right? And, and it's just one more product into the battery of products that we have that are all tending to the same uh, thing, which is create solutions for the customer that they can, that can make the customer more productive and be able to, uh, to save those mishaps uh, while, before they happen, right? That's really a key. For us, uh, the management of the site is a critical issue for, uh, for the focus that we have in our business. So uh, being able to do this quality control in real time, layout and verification in real time, again, combined with other products, not just one simple uh, piece of hardware, but all the variety of products that get together to be able to, to uh, give us that capability is just a tremendous, uh, tremendous advantage, right? And, and the customer uh, has loved the product and, and received it fantastically. And so we are excited about the, the potential for all that technology coming together. That's Where do you see uh, opportunities for development within uh, the infrastructure sector? So we have uh, in the geo business, we, we have what we call the pillars, right, for, for our uh, uh, different business and different interests. Uh, so, so what we are uh, uh, doing, the internal strategic uh, discussions uh, and laying out the plans for the future, uh, we identify actually six different areas. I'm not going to bother you with those, but I'm going to just give you the macro picture. Um, definitely, uh, the traditional business continue moving on but moving into more and more, actually we, for years, we have been trying to, uh, to do more workflows and it's, it's going more into that direction, uh, more than even in the past. Have always been a trend in the traditional business, but it's becoming more and more uh, significant. Uh, development of software for those solutions, of course, is, is a critical portion for us. Another area of big interest is monitoring. Uh, I, I know that the whole infrastructure is aging, the needs are there for, uh, for monitoring more and more. So we see that market growing uh, dramatically. Um, all the UAV and mass data we combine with uh, actually uh, very aggressively with the uh, solutions that we have for what we call the vertical market. For us internally, and we are constantly giving that message, we differentiate from horizontal uh, construction, which is what you do, let's say, with the machines or roads or, or railroads, right? 
uh, to, uh, we differentiate it from uh, the vertical construction, which is what you do in buildings, right? Um, that is a tremendous potential, the big area for us uh, in terms of expansion. That's where the GTL 1000, the LN150 that is introduced also at this show. Um, uh, many of our products, you know, we have uh, some heads up display actually uh, system. So all of those things are coming to better aid the vertical market, which is a tremendous potential. We, we expect that that market will be more uh, than half of the total business that we will have in, by the year 21, 22, in terms of uh, robotic total stations and systems that are within that realm of, of, uh, of uh, possibilities, right? It, that means, again, real time quality control, trying to make the guys not build it and break it and then build it again, but just making sure that they build it right for the first time and then they can do those controls in real time. Sometimes people ask, so why, why now? You know, why, why now? And it, the answer is very simple, right? I, I, uh, we see it every day and it's natural to guess that, but people are going into digital framework. If you have a digital uh, solution of your site, you need to have a reference system and products in the site that will allow you to use the same reference system that you are using for the digital world. So ultimately, we are transforming digital into reality, right? In that transformation is where we uh, see a tremendous possibility for expansion into the, this, this part of the business, yeah. Uh, what do you feel are the key challenges facing uh, the industry currently? So uh, I, I would say that if you talk to any of the customers that we have, and I had this experience uh, over and over, um, let's say if you, you talk to contractors, right? The first thing that they will tell you is that they don't have enough talent. So, so and the talent means uh, from uh, understanding this digital to reality world up to the normal operator of the machine. So everybody has a problem of, uh, of human resources. How do we make people do more Right? How do we, they become more productive? But also, where are we going to get those people? Because they are not there. And that's a key portion that we can contribute to. We can create simple solutions, easy solutions to use, solutions that will go across the border that will not be completely, um, um, uh, how would you say this, uh, that, that can be exchanged. Uh, from each other, so so in an open architecture, so you can integrate different fleets with different solutions from different manufacturers, but you are not looking at the product, looking at the whole flow. Again, key people, how do you get the right people in the field to be able to use that? How do you translate the, the old technology or the old view of the world uh, of building it, later measuring and see what happened? up to, on real time, have all this detail at the tip of your hand. Um, more we simplify it, easier we get for the people that are building, for the contractors, for those guys that cannot find the, the resources today to, uh, to be able to, uh, uh, to have productive teams. And of course, you know, uh, there are many other challenges in, the, in this regard when you're talking about putting technology together, you have Again, different architecture, different workflows, and uh, not enough standardization in the industry. So uh, if you are talking about real everyday thing, you're looking at, again, people. And if you are talking about macro view of what, are, what is missing, is standardization of, of uh, systematization, the industry need to find a way to create standards uh, in a more efficient fashion, right? That's the view. Let's talk about uh, InterGeo 2019. Uh, at uh, the end, what are your focuses here in Stuttgart? Uh, as, as I'm explaining, the focus for us as a, as a company is, is, again, bring solutions to the market. So in this particular uh, show, it's, it's a good opportunity for us to meet uh, dealers and customers and, and be hands-on with them and, and talk to them, not only about uh, the new solutions, but, but the things, again, how, how the whole vision comes together. So it's a very efficient way for us to deal with the uh, with our uh, distribution network, right? And with our own people. We have a lot of employees coming from all over the world and, uh, and getting refreshed on what's happening and the things that we are doing. This particular Intergeo, we are excited because we have not only the GTL 1000 that have been introduced uh, early on this year, but also the LN 150. And we have a new version of TS Shield which is our communication system. Uh, and we also have these visors that uh, you know, are fantastic from my perspective. When I see the world from what we were 
40, 50 years ago uh, to what we are today. So very excited about Intergeo and, and you know, uh, meeting every day our customer base and our dealership, which is always uh, great to see. Eduardo Falcon, thank you and uh, thank have a great time here. In thank Stuttgart. you very much. You too. Thank you.